Oh yeah, guys. Sorry if I'm a little quiet. I'm actually kind of enjoying this along with you guys. That's good. Seems like more people are tuning in too. That's cool. That's good. Little by little. It's still very early. Once again, guys, this is uh, Kings of Poverty for Rain, put together by uh, Josh Defunct Doc, Speed Runs Live, and a whole lot of other people. Earlier on, or yesterday, essentially, we had the Mystery Game Tournament, a 16-man 16, 16 bracket. It's pretty cool. A lot of different games got selected. I know some of you guys tuned in for that. And you can uh, uh, always review it if you want in the archives, so you can check out what went on and what games were played. Nah, I mean, no point in getting sleepy now. There's still a lot to be done. Might as well chill out. That was free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a quiet run back since all the enemies are gone. Any donations, topics of discussions? Let's see. Uh. I don't think so. Most people are talking about either how tired they are or how it's late or which games they want to see. So let's see. Missing Score says that he's excited for uh, Super Mario World, NES Batman, uh, Mystic Quest, and Link to the Past, which are all games on the list uh, for runs during the 24-hour speedrun marathon. Um, I actually, oh, I'll, I'll go on. I actually forgot a really important item. Which is in this chest. A lot of people are talking about there we go. how fate doesn't really need a sword. Well, he kind of does because he's used to that. Because <laughs> he used to play the battle simulators and they use a, and he uses sword characters, so yeah. He's kind of most comfortable with a sword. Uh, let's see, Cree Knights asks, what do you think of Star Ocean 4? Uh-oh. <laughs> it's decent. Okay. It's okay. Uh, Kinetic Bomb wants to know if you're going to change to uh, Dimension Door. Or if you're going to keep using Sidekick. Well, I actually swap Fade out once I get um, to a certain point of the game. Right before the disc change. Okay. And Maria becomes my main character then. So, no more sidekick. No more anything. No fate. Someone says, I'm used to withheld speaking in Japanese emoticons. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do that. <laughs> Chain Chomp says, I'm sad that you didn't get Roger. <laughs> uh, I could have, but he's a complete waste.
<laughs> oh man. <laughs> So once again guys, uh, this is Kings of Poverty for Rain, and right now, we're in the 24 hour of speed running portion. I feel like I've said this only two minutes ago, <laughs> but right now we have Withheld playing through Star Ocean 3, looking for a sub 5 hours if possible. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. Oh. Uh, this happens sometimes. Uh huh. Oh no. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah. Just took a while to load. Yeah, that happens a lot, actually. Let <laughs> me stop trolling. <laughs> it's like PS3, only it's PS2. Oh. <laughs> oh, cutscenes. Moselle. A crab lover, sorry, I can't do that. Be nice, please. Anyway, guys, once again, um. This is all. It, this is all done, and we're all suffering uh, for your benefit. Yes. Also, because we're trying to raise money for a very important organization, which is Rain. Um, you can find more info about them at rain.org. But um, they're very instrumental in uh, in helping out all those who are abused. Uh, they work very closely with several organizations. They also very uh, lobby very tightly with the government to really help out an update and uh they really work hard and tirelessly to make sure that the most amount of your dollar goes towards helping people in need anyway um the goal that we're looking to raise is ten thousand dollars and we've already raised uh beyond a quarter of that anything that you can send will be very helpful and if you want to you know if you want to check out the list of games to see what's coming later perhaps you want to save a donation for one of those um you can check out uh, either the Facebook page or the link that I'm going to put in the stream chat for you right now, which has the list of upcoming games. It also can tell you what the donation incentives are for the various games. Anyway, for the game that's being played now, Star Ocean 3, there's uh, essentially three incentives and kind of a fourth Easter egg one that got stuck in here. But um, the first two are, for your donation, you can choose to rename a character, essentially. You can choose to... Uh, you can choose to uh, you can choose a costume for a character, and also you can uh, if you donate a hundred dollars, you can have withheld fight the final boss with the the gutsy bunny, which is an item that buffs the stats for enemies and makes the last boss fight uh, much more difficult than it would be. Um, there's also another one that that was started by a gentleman, and that's a donation towards the controversial scene <laughs> of Star Ocean Three. Anyway, if you if you donate towards that, then withheld, we'll play through to the scene for you. It's very controversial. You want to see it? Yes. <laughs> uh, Corey Freak says, "Can withheld stop playing while I'm gone shopping?" <laughs> I don't think so. Sorry. We're unfortunately on a timetable right now. <laughs> uh, missing score. Uh, I would wait on that because it'll be more difficult for us to tally those types of votes if they're from earlier. How long till the uh, the controversial scene? I think it would be another hour and a half from now. I would say about. Uh, what is that person asking? 
Oh, uh, he's just asking, uh, how long would it be till the controversial scene, About essentially? Hour and a half. Is the controversial scene more controversial than the the shot put game and caveman games? <laughs> that that that's a tough one. I'm not sure. That that shot put game was pretty con. I don't even remember that. And I played that game. I saw it and I was like, wow, that's shot putting in caveman games. <laughs> Hey, we didn't make the game. Don't blame us. Oh, hey, surprise balls. Those guys are spazzing out right now. I'll tame them. Yeah, Maria likes not having to do any work. Uh, she's going to be doing lots of work later on. She's going to be doing all the work later on. And then... Whatever. Owl Knight says this game is significantly anime. Yes, yes. Quite anime. I need, I need to get this item. Really important that I get that item. And I'm also going to recruit Stannis, the crafter. It all makes sense soon enough. Checking the donation count to see if there's anything new in here. It doesn't look like it though. People are, are biding their time. That's <laughs> Carlos Bruce, but.
whatever that was, it was really crunchy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> to JC0225, he says I, that we should run a raffle for the person who can guess exactly how many sidekicks are used in the speedrun. Unfortunately, I did not keep count. <laughs> so, uh, the game keeps count of that. Oh! So. I actually forgot where to go. Wow. I am really tired. <laughs> Frick! <laughs> that makes me think of the scene in Chrono Cross where you first get teleported. He does the same kind of. Oh, and just dies. Well, he doesn't actually die, but. I think I go this way. I think. Um, I forget where to go again. Okay, this works. Whatever. Good enough. And this is the only cutscene in the game. So I'm going to take a little stretch. <laughs> I got some water just by standing in the pool. Yeah, if only it worked so simply, right? Just absorb it like trees do. Yep. No. Who has time for drinking? Let me tell you a little, a little, a little trick to make Star Ocean pretty funny. You can replace almost any word for a skill, and even some of the the phrases for like level ups and stuff. Just replace random words with the word pants. It's great. Air slash becomes air pants. When Reina levels up in SO2, she says, "My strength is starting to overflow." You change that one to my pants are starting to overflow. Ripper pants. That one's not good, sorry. I shouldn't have went there. But you get the point. <laughs> pants kick, my pants. Yeah, see, you guys know. I'm telling you, that's the best. That's how you troll in Star Ocean. Oh, mirror pants, that's the classic, yeah. Mirror pants! <laughs> yeah, Butters BB is calling me out. I messed up on that one. Sorry, guys. I was just trying to troll. I'm so tired. <laughs> change the names to God bless the ring. 
I wish that was a real donation. That would be pretty funny. <laughs> you can't donate anything. Anything's better than nothing. Yeah, that's true. If you even, you know, one simple character name, you know, or an outfit that you like to see. The simple pleasures in life. <laughs> Man, how uh, with hell you're confusing so many people right now. You don't even know. <laughs> the whole day, it's like, whoa. Um, I'm confused. <laughs> Help me. Not me. I just mean the stream chat. Yeah, I know. Right. Don't be confused. Nothing confusing him. Skiffane says, I bet you wish you were as pretty as withheld. <laughs> uh, Krellian, just uh, send what you can donate. Probably 87 asking how much to rename a character what is it worth to you yes. what you can afford to please don't you know overdo it or anything but everything is appreciated and again it, it's going towards a, a good an excellent cause much better things or there are much worse things you could spend your money on is what I should say Yes, it is. Pick this one. Okay. <laughs> I mentioned how you could donate to much worse things, and the club goes, Yeah, like Star Ocean 4. <laughs> Shout outs to uh, Dennis, whose message I won't read back on the stream, but thank you for the donation. Nonetheless, it's appreciated. And good stuff again to everyone that's donated. It's very much appreciated. Don't forget, guys, after you donate, if you want us to see your comments, please make sure after the donation page to click on the comment section and leave a comment or else um, we can't tally your donation towards any sort of a uh, vote especially for the current game being played you can find the donation link in two places one it's in the title of the stream chat or the stream itself excuse me and it's also uh down at the bottom in the info page you can see the chip in applet there either way will work And again, please don't donate to the Team Spooky account. Make sure to donate to the account on the page. But don't worry if you did accidentally donate to me. I'm making sure that your money goes to the right place. Not sure why I'm trying to keep this bonus bar so long. <laughs> DZDLL says, can you highlight the controversial scene? Uh, I don't know if we're even that far along yet. We did get one contribution towards it, but it doesn't seem like many others have too much interest. Mm, it's a good scene. Yeah, you guys... 
should contribute towards it if you want to see it. As you said. Oh, I see some more donations in here. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see if anybody left a comment. All right, so I, I need to clarify on this one. I ho hopefully, you're in the stream chat. Uh, Tex Chen Ho says, uh, rename character of choice to, eat, to anim anime stereotype <laughs> number one, comma, number two, etc. Can you clarify that if you're still in the stream chat? <laughs> anime stereotype number one. That sure sounds like fate to me. At least he's not like a silent protagonist like they do in some games. Those are alright, but when it's overdone, it's... It just makes the character seem kind of cold. It's like, oh god, the world's falling apart, but nah, uh, I'm silent. I don't have anything to say. Let's go kill Lavos, guys. We can do it. No, no, don't go in there. Please come out. Oh, I don't even know what uh, Tech uh, Sien Ho's name is in the stream chat. I need to find out. How can I even find that out? Oop, oh, there's no way for me to find out. It's magic. Okay. He says, "I, I get. Is it Krillian? I hope this is the right person. It may not fit. Just call him Anime Number One if it doesn't fit. No." So call fate anime number one. Anime, uh, well, if you can fit anime stereotype number one, I don't know if that'll fit though. Yeah, it's kind of long. <laughs> uh, no, seven. seven is the max. You can call them anime number one. That's pretty funny. I like that. <laughs> is there a number sign? Nope. All right, you just have to leave a space, I guess. Anime one. That's funny. Not really, but <laughs> anime one lane guy. I like how his last name's still there. <laughs> uh, are we doing it to the others? Uh, I guess it's up to him. I would say one is already funny enough, considering yeah. that you've been playing Fate this whole run so far anyway. Mm -hmm. Anime one, the god. I don't even know what you mean. Mr. Score says, yo, Chris G. I don't even know if that's... That's like a deep troll right there. I don't even know where you're going with that one. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you look at Fate's portrait, right? It matches the name. It's like, yeah, my name's Anime. Check me out. I don't have a jacket on in the snow. I'm okay. I'm anime. I always like this guy's robe. It makes me think of like a Final Fantasy Tactics character or something. It just looks yes. cool. What's that guy? Zalmo or whatever? The High Priest dude? That's uh, what he looks like. Zalmo. Yeah. Now we also have Albert to play with. Then man wants to play with him now. Uh, Butter is asked, is there a romance uh, scene in this game? Uh, there, there is, there you know, a couple of them. Mm -hmm. I haven't really done like all the endings and stuff, but I know that this game, much like SO2, has the relationship point system, and based on that, uh, especially later on in the game, certain scenes change 
slightly. Again, I, I've never explored it fully. In SO2, I don't know if it's, if it's as bad in this game, but in SO2, if you wanted to get every ending, oof, you, you were playing nothing but Star Ocean 2 for a long time if you yes. wanted every ending. Uh, this here is like the final dungeon of the game, but we're going to be in here for a long time. Also, from this point, Sidekick is pretty much useless and is not used again. Because for the next two bosses, Ariel is actually better than Sidekick. And after that, Maria takes over. So, goodbye Sidekick. You've been good to us. So our enemy number one did some good work so far. <laughs> the Claude <laughs> says, can we di donate for more sidekick? Uh, and someone said, give me back my donation. <laughs> it's not even real. Come on, guy. <laughs> How am I still awake? Hey, listen, when it's for such an important cause, I have to make sure that things go well. So, I'm awake. Ditto. And again, this is not just for my cause, obviously, it's for the cause of everyone here. And, the, and for the cause of rain, which is pretty sick. Oh, he's just spazzing out. There we go. Uh, the reason I switched to Ariel for that boss is because that boss emits like a damp and MP damaging aura, which interrupts attacks and makes it really annoying to fight him. So basically, what you want to do is either go anti air on him. Or you want to um, either down him as much as possible, both of which is what Ariel does. That bonus gauge lasted you for a long time. Finally got broken. Yes. I'm kind of glad I got broken so I don't have to fight random battles. <laughs> Enemy number one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so there's another $10 donation towards the controversial scene. Nice. Uh, uh, Mike Callahan says, Can I get a stream shout out for a freshly picked sage? <laughs> Okay, this is a really annoying part of the game. Uh, basically, for these doors, you 
have to hold down the Z O button in a certain manner with a certain strength. For example, some doors require you to hold down the button long yet softly. Some doors like short yet hard. And it's really annoying to try to match what you need to lay in order to open the door. That'd be sad. I didn't realize that PS2 had the analog LNR. I thought that was only PS3. I oh, know PS2 had it. Some okay. games used it. Engine J says you should check donations again. All right, I will. <laughs> oh man! All right. So we have another uh, character name request. Uh, no choice in character, but basically they want one character to be named Chris G. <laughs> okay. Why do you like Chris G so much? Yeah, I guess Maria, right? She's the... Or she will be the leader soon. So. Yeah. Congrats, Maria. You're now Chris G. Out of the backspace. C-H-I-R-S. No, it's C-H-R-I-S. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> we're, we're all tired here. Oof. You can just put capital G. Yeah, G there, you there you go. Chris G. Trador. I guess Chris... Could be a feminine name, Christine, right? Christine G. <laughs> I'm reaching here. Work with me. <laughs> Soft. Okay. I'm trying to remember how long it took me to get to this point. It was long though. Yes. It was really long. Multiply what you have by like 20, maybe 30, and that's around really? how long it took. You know, maybe a little less. Than, I don't remember. It's been a while, but. I mean, it's probably like, some, like times 10. Okay. This is like the 20 hour mark for a lot of people. 20, 25 hour mark. So brothers BB who says, how much to donate for names? Donate to what you can. Please don't send like a penny. I'll be sad. And Rain will be sad. And you'll be sad inside because you only donated a penny. Yeah, Chris G was pretty upset at uh, Summer Jam. But I don't really know what happened, so I don't really want to get involved. I was not there when it occurred, so I don't really know what happened, to be honest. Approaching probably the hardest boss of this game. Anybody who played this game knows this boss. I'm not... Be careful! 
Let's go, Chris G. So nice. He was so so nice. That was easy. Oh, right. I can feel my senses sharpening. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna use the job of the future here. I'm gonna grab this just in case. <laughs> Alright, so someone says, whichever character shows the most love should be named Rokunai, uh, Rokunaya. <laughs> uh, I don't know who shows the most love out of who's left. <laughs> I guess I can replace Nell with it. Okay. What a crazy team. You got anime number one. And now you're going to have Rokunaya hanging out with Chris G. <laughs> uh, how do you spell it? Uh, R O K. Uh, it may not fit. Let's see. U N. Just put Y A at the end. It won't fit. It's supposed to be Roku Naya with another A, but it's close enough. We'll do what we can with what we've got. Roku Naya is that uh, Roku Naya, the Lord of the Anime. <laughs> Phoenix Striker says, good job, stream. You've now officially ruined the storyline and made it all FGC-like. <laughs> DD Magnus says, I just donated. Please heed my request. All right, let's see what your request is. <laughs> Oh, uh, your comment has not come through yet, gentlemen who just donated. But I will refresh until I see it. Red Aramur says, we need controversial scene. Go, go, donate. there all right so uh there, there there's another name change request but i think we should kind of sit on the names we have at least for a little bit but yeah this one's kind of predictable it's about time so it's uh the first character should be god the second character should be bless the last one should be <laughs> the ring you'll have to wait a bit on that one i will and now here's the best part of the game Backtrack it. You backtrack it to the first area of the game. Nice. I have to do something. I 
I have to do something extremely important. Or guys at big two, I don't think so. Maybe at Skillionaire if you ask roughly enough. Let's see what else. Kinstar says when you're running out of ideas for your game, you should just start backtracking. And Dynab made a similar joke. Strega, Disgaea. I'd rather play Disgaea in a tournament. That sounds sick to me. Interesting. Yeah, how come there's no versus in strategy RPGs? That's that would be the coolest, right? There actually there is in the PSP version of Final Fantasy Tactics. There's a versus mode, and you get cool items for it too. And then there's also like a co-op mode where you fight on special stages and stuff. That's pretty sick. Too bad the PSP version of Final Fantasy Tactics sucks. Okay, here's that part of the game. Here's the part of the game where I completely break it. Oh. Ooh. Yep. If I can end this place. Okay. So mainly, I got three inventors. Um, I got Stannis, which will help me craft some items, and Macwell and Misty, who are used to create Akunagium. Or how the hell you pronounce that. Um, hopefully I'll get to show you what that does. So, I go into the item creation shop. I'm going to create a line for alchemy, crafting, engineering, and synthesis. I'm going to sign Misty, Maria, and Macbeth to one line, and Stannis, Nell, and Faith to another. Okay, I'm going to get the craft value around 140, and I'm going to get the alchemy value around 5,000. That was... There you go. Uh, yeah, that works. That's one. Okay. Um, what I'm having the, the bottom team craft is... Oh, okay. Um, I actually forget what I am the craft in. Okay. So that's Orch. It is a really good element. Mainly used for that attack plus 500. Okay, now I'm done with Misty. Unless I really screw up. Okay, since I'm going to be using Marie, I'm going to use the Pulse Gun because that has a minus 2 Fury use. And I'm going to use that to stack. Uh, with the Charm and Tranquility that I get later on, and that'll allow me to do an extra hit. Um, the reason I'm putting plus 10% attack to hits on this early 
is that it's really cheap to do so because as soon as I put an attack plus 500 factor on it, it becomes a much, much more expensive to put stuff onto that weapon. So this is to keep the cost down. And I'm going to need to create a couple more of those uh, footworks to make sure I have maximum attack that I can at this point. Okay, that works. Uh, the reason I'm only using Maria to synthesize is Maria actually has a cost minus 10% factor. And since synthesis does not require like any sort of skill, and that is a, always a 100% success rate, you want to go for the cheapest characters possible. Um, I can actually use like one more. Size pulse gun, size blotch. Okay. Okay, that's done. I don't need that second line anymore. Now, I'm gonna use that pulse gun and synthesize that attack plus 500 factor towards it. Now, what I will do is I will add clip and fate in the mix, and I will actually use those machinery materials that I got to duplicate that attack plus 500 factor on it. Now, you may be wondering why I'm using engineering to actually dupe the materials instead of saying dupe them on the alchemy or dupe them with another weapon and then retransfer it over. Uh, the point is this is by far the cheapest way and it's by far the safest way to duplicate the attack plus 500 stat. And I got extremely lucky. Oh, whatever. That's good enough. And now I have a weapon that's actually really, really good. Jeez. Yes. <laughs> right. More attack to that, and 2700 attack. Not bad. And now Fate is... and now Anime 1 is completely useless, so... That's alright, it'll be his job to help bless the ring soon. Yes. That's fine. And now it's always useless. G would now lead us. Because now Chris G is the only useful character. And of course, Chris G is the one that's going to be using all the zoning tactics. Yes, yes. Just like the real one. Now I go up here to gain the item that I actually came back for, was the whole entire reason. I bombed that ice and. Get this. Now it's time to backtrack from the to the place that we backtracked it from. Which is nice.
What? I don't know. Down the wrong way. So now we'll have to fight the final boss of this one. The big bad. Oh, stop. <laughs> My title right now is just banana. If there's a two frame overhead, I need to unlock all the I don't even know what you're talking about now, banana can. <laughs> it's just like multiple trolls turned into one. Oh, you're talking about the, the Persona 4 titles. The online, you know, actually, I like the online titles. It's really flexible. You'd be surprised what you can name yourself with a little bit of grinding to unlock titles and a little bit of creativity. Don't let your guard down. Wow. Yep. That's a lot of damage. Fred. <laughs> Yo, Chris G's cheap, man. What a waste of time. Oh, that's fine. I'll do Once again, guys, thank you to everybody that's contributed so far. Thank you. It's much appreciated. See if I can see what the total is we're at right now. 
I don't know if it's updated yet or not. Restore. Christy Star Ocean gifts. Come on. I bet if I ask Christy, hey, have you ever played Star Ocean 3? He'll be like, no, why would I play that game or something? We've raised $2,800 in total so far, at least if what's here that I have is accurate. Wow. Yep. All right, this two time. Nope. Yeah, it's a little tab or something. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Did not wanna open. There you go. You there got it. Go. It's because he has the the flip top. Alright, this two time. So anybody else that wants to donate towards the climactic scene? We're almost there. Uh, about a little more than a half hour. Mm -hmm. And again, guys, don't forget, after donating, if you want to uh, leave your donation towards one of the incentives, make sure to leave a comment after your donation so that we can track it for you. Otherwise, we won't be able to. Yeah, actually, a lot of people are napping out here right now. We're, I think, the only ones awake. It's all right. I'll lose sleep for a good cause. Lord knows I've lost sleep for bad causes before. God, she does so much.
andere besser. Und oh shit. Wow. <laughs> that was like a crazy trade. <laughs> wow, the homing anti attack or basically does damage based upon how much damage you do to that enemy. So since she has super powerful attacks, it's gonna do a lot of damage. more donations let's see I'm gonna refresh the page once more one guy donated a little bit earlier but he didn't leave a comment with his donation he just donated thank you it's appreciated but yeah that was the last one <laughs> yeah, so out of curiosity, how many of you guys in the stream chat have actually played this game? Even if it wasn't to completion, even if you play, you know, a couple hours in or several hours in. Just curious. <laughs> Someone said I played four Stream X. Cool. Sixty hours total says JC0225. A lot of you guys have played this on that's cool. So what do you what do you guys think about the run so far? Those of you that have played the game and can appreciate uh just how quickly the game's being demolished. <laughs> Someone said, dude, this is oh, the same guy, JCO225, says, this is badass. The Man. game's getting bodied. Someone else said, I didn't think this game would be nearly as broken as it actually is. Mm. Oh, you have not seen anything about how broken this game can be. The Claude says, it took me about 30 to 35 hours to get where you are right now. Yeah, that's about... About right, I guess. Maybe a little less. That's about right. Yeah. You want me to rename the characters now or uh sure if you like. It's up to you. Alright. So anime one is now God. <laughs> And I guess Nell would be blessed by Roku Naya. Your name didn't fit anyway. Screw you. Anime. It's, uh, you have to go back. You have a uh, C instead I of E. Oh. Yeah, it's hard to see. There you go. And 
and then the ring by Chris G. You fought well. Now all I can think of is the movie The Ring and not what this actual reference is. <laughs> oh, it barely fits. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> 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 now we can't lose, says JCO two two five. There must be some real Urgaz lovers out there. <laughs> Cory Freak, welcome back. But no, the show has gone on. Sorry to say. But anyway, to those of you that, that do have appreciation for what you're watching, that's awesome. That's great. Uh, which difficulty? This is uh, the second difficulty. I forget the exact name Galaxy. of it. Galaxy. There you go. I kind of would think about a 40 run, but there's a lot, a lot to that. That I really don't want to think about. Eclipse says, can no one see what I say? Yes, we can see you. Yeah, happy Labor Day, I guess. For those of you that do have rest, make sure to enjoy, because we got a lot going on. Uh, the cutscene's coming up. The controversy scene. Oh, okay. So there, there were two donations towards it so far. Anyway, this is your last chance if you want to donate and motivate uh, with L to play through the controversial scene. Again, the, the donation link is in two places. Number one, it's in the stream topic. And number two, it's in the, uh, the info tab where it says Kings of Poverty for Rain. So if you want to see the special scene, make sure to, in your comment, mention that you want to see the, the very controversial scene. <laughs> uh, is it frozen? Okay. Yes. I'll fix that. Uh, good old. Yeah, see, it took a long time. That was like an hour and a half or something before it froze up. That's fine by me. That's plenty. Anyway. Yeah, I may not have noticed, but there we go. Yeah, that error was just me restarting the camera software. Dun. World's ending, guys. Windows errors everywhere. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 do 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 Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> and no more BSODs today. I had one, and that's enough for me. 
hooking up so many consoles at once is a little tricky. Consoles, cameras, etc. Okay, I see uh, a couple more donations for the controversial scene, JC0225, and another gentleman. So in total, how much is towards the scene? 25 and change, is that right? Let's see. What? I actually have not sent a donation yet myself, so I'm gonna do that just to even things out. Nice. No time like the present. Mm -hmm. Oh, and someone actually accidentally sent a donation to my account too, so I'm gonna send that over as well. I'm actually playing on like Ardo and Muscle Memory at this point, so I <laughs> kind of don't know where I am. So I'm going to put 30 of my hard-earned dollars towards the special scene. Very nice. Uh, it's really up to withhold at this point. Towards the special scene, there's uh, over sixty dollars. I think it's like sixty-five or sixty-six at this point. Um, I think I'll buy it. We'll go at the scene right now. Mwahahaha! <laughs> if I can find the trigger point, which may actually prove difficult. How did I get lost running in a straight line? <laughs> People are already ready. They're like, controversy incoming. Yes. <laughs> it's coming. Give me a moment. I bet everybody it has is. probably already seen this like 50 times, but it's okay. It's okay. Oh, there's no save point here. But oh. It's this. said you have the genetic power to create a path through the time gate and into 4D space. Yeah, but I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Well, that's understandable. I'm sorry. Don't say that. There's nothing to apologize for. 
but I'm letting you all down. Don't worry about it. If you say so. Sophia's powers haven't manifested yet. I know. Well, we won't get anything accomplished just standing around here. Good idea. What is it, Sophia? You okay? I'm just getting in the way, aren't I? Not at all, Sophia. And don't be afraid to say when you're hurting. It moves? This is how it normally operates. What is it? My hand. It's hot. What's happening? I... Sophia! She's manifesting. Oh. You okay? I think so. Whoa. What was that? The time gate. It's... What the hell is that? Amazing. That's... That's 4D's face. It might be. It is. How do you know? I don't know why, but I can sense it. Yes. This is 4D space. Yeah, I can sense it too. Something deep down inside is telling me that too. If you guys feel that way, it must be true. If you all feel that way, it must be. That means the Creator lies somewhere beyond this gate. Say, can we even exist in 4D space? Yeah, it's a completely different dimension. There's no way we can know for sure. Still, I don't think Dr. Leingard would have overlooked this. Right, but we can't know for sure, can we? I wonder. Hey, there's no use thinking about it. Let's just dive right in. Well, there you have it. Decisiveness is a virtue. You're right. Let's go, everybody. Let's find and defeat the Creator. What the? Something came out of the Eternal Sphere display. Cool. That, that was a not a yo. Where are the executioners? No clue, but this must be 4D space. Wow, we made it here safely. What a relief. It sure is. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't the enemy's home base supposed to be a little more... Tense usually. Yeah, what is this place? But this is definitely 4D space. No mistake there. Indeed. What the hell's going on here? Hey, did I hear you say executioner? Yes, you did. Who are you? Vlad Garrett. That's not exactly what we meant, kid. 
Hey, don't worry. I'm not one of the bad guys. You worry about that? Come to my house. I think you <laughs> may find out what you want to know there. <laughs> well, he doesn't look particularly dangerous. That's right. Right. Okay, let's go. It seems like he knows something about the execution. Nothing ventured, as they say. Sounds good to me. It's decided. Hurry up. The road security will come. Come on. Oh, they're just friends. Mm -hmm. Let them write in. It's okay. <laughs> so, what's your full name? And where were you born? My name? Mm-hmm. Why do you want to know that? Nothing much. Just something I want to check. My name's Fate Line God. <laughs> oh, my name's God Line God. <laughs> I'm from Earth. <laughs> Good. Okay. There it is. Wow. Okay. So you are who I thought you were. Great! I believe it now! It's just like Blair said. Blair? Hey, kid, share the info, huh? Don't just sit there with your thinking face on. You're not related to those executioners. No, not really. Hmm. How should I explain this? You guys live in the Eternal Sphere, right? Eternal Sphere? Yeah! Check it out! And then JJ says, I'm getting more offended by the second. Hey, that's... Huh? What? That's a battle between the Federation and the Executioners. That's right. This is what's happening right now in the Eternal Sphere. What's happening? Hey, kid. What the hell is this Eternal Sphere thing anyway? How can we see the fight between the Federation and the Executioners? Relax. I'll explain everything. The Eternal Sphere is a universe inside a simulator. Earth is one of the planets inside that universe. <laughs> a simulator? You can watch the Eternal Sphere and the events happening in the Milky Way on any terminal. And you guys are characters from inside the Eternal Sphere simulator. Hey, what's this kid saying? Oh, now nah, everybody's figured it out. They're all salty now. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> In other words, we're programs? Well, yeah, if you want to put it that way. So... 
You're saying that our universe is nothing more than a computer game? <clears throat> no, it's an online reality that everyone shares. Nobody can reset it, so it's not what you'd think of as a game. I guess it's kind of a parallel world. I... We're just puppets for you people to manipulate? <laughs> well, in a way, yeah. But you all have your own individual AI programs, so you're really not that different from us. It's not like we can move you around with a joystick or anything like that. That's why I think you're more or less like us. You just live in a different dimension. Thus, the parallel world. Mm-hmm. Then what are those executioners? Are they programs too? Mm-hmm. Ex According to a recent press release, a problem was found in the Milky Way region of the Eternal Sphere simulation. That's where you guys live, right? They say if they don't do something about that problem, it'll affect the entire program. The executioners were sent in to delete anomalies that caused the problem. So they're fixing bugs. You're kidding me. I figured those things weren't gods, but now you're telling me they're programs? But wait, if we're programs, how can we exist here? If what he's saying is true, this should be impossible. Now that I don't understand either. That must be Maria's power, the alteration gene. Yes, that must be it. The power given to me by Professor Leingard, a program created by a program. It's kind of scary if you think about it. Say, kid, how do you know so much about all this? Cut! My buddy works for the company that developed the Eternal Sphere. Her name is Blair. She told me all sorts of things. But don't get me wrong, I'm really not one of the bad guys. Then why did you bring us here? Hmm... Curiosity, mainly. Programmed life forms coming into the real world? Amazing! Now that you put it that way... You guys came here to stop the executioners, right? What do you think your chances are? Think you can do it? Security? <laughs> hey guys! Vlad, did you? I didn't do anything! Freeze! Get your hands up! You people are under arrest! Glad, what was I supposed to do? I was so worried about you. Aw, oh, Mom! Can't you mind your own business? What do we do now? Whatever we do, we can't let ourselves get captured. I'm with you on that. Shall we? Yeah. Have they enjoyed? <laughs> I saw a lot of people that were just like, "Why is this controversial?" And then when you get to the end, they're like, "Oh man!" So it seemed like a lot of people were pretty salty, but that's cool. I think that's kind of the point. That's why it's the controversial scene, right? It was all just a dream. Do CX Machina, or however you say it. <laughs> Someone said, "Why did you do that to us?" Withheld. <laughs> I love you guys. That's fine. <laughs> the controversy was that they ripped off the Matrix? Yeah, I guess. Pretty much.
<laughs> Silver Rain says, that was so awesome. I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not. <laughs> Can't really tell. <laughs> uh, Kinetic Bomb wants to know, are you going to fight in the arena for the plus 1000 attack nope. scroll? No. You already have like plus 1500 attack. Yeah. Um, full game run that does post games actually does fight in the arena at this point for the plus 1000 scroll, but it's not worth it for this being removed too. If you turn uh, the other part towards towards you, it'll pick you up a little better. <laughs> oh man, Omega Star man, you're thinking about it way too hard, dude. No, you're not really a program in a computer system. It's just a game, man. Don't don't get don't get tricked, please. <laughs> I'm a Twitch AI. <laughs> oh man, what does that even mean? <laughs> Split coded Jaxel. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're now uh, three and a half hours in. That's about an hour left of this. I see. A little more than an hour, actually. Well, getting the extra scene definitely killed some time. Yes. Thank you to everyone that's uh, contributed so far. By the way, it's very much appreciated. God. Yep. Her weapon just does so much, it's crazy. Is next level technically open? Not yet, but I think it opens uh, at noon, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm putting the Charm of Tranquility on, so I can use aim device six times in a combo chain instead of five times. And I'm gonna be switching scatter beam out for magnetic field for the next like two bosses I think. I forget how many bosses I leave it in for.
Yeah, God's a computer program, guys. And then he created all of you. Yes, so now yes. what are you going to do? Are you a computer program? I was supposed to go this way. Was I? No. I remember this dungeon not being very fun. I forgot what it was about it, though. It's really, really tedious and repetitive. Because there's 211 floors. Uh, the first five are mandatory. Um, six through 100 are, like, kind of, like, exploration floors. You can go there and find, like, treasures and stuff. And 100 to 211 are like the post game dungeons. <sighs> this is actually a kind of difficult boss coming up. If I don't do this right, um, it could turn really ugly real fast. So I hope to do it correctly. D rap music. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm still here. Although I get the easy job, I just get to sit around. Yes, lucky you. <laughs> Once again, guys, for those of you just tuning in, this is uh, Kings of Poverty for Rain, and it's a uh, 
uh, marathon uh, gaming exhibition. Uh, the first part, which uh, started yesterday, was the mystery tournament, and that was various uh, old school games. It was pretty cool. You can check the archives if you want to peek back in. Uh, today starts 24 hours of live speed runs. Right now, we have Withheld playing through Star Ocean 3. And um, if you want to see the list of the games that we played during the marathon, I'm actually going to uh, copy and paste the link to you in the stream chat right now. So if there's a particular game that you're looking for or that you really want to watch, you can uh, schedule yourself around it. And again, um, all donations are appreciated. Again, we're, we're doing this for your enjoyment, but we're also doing it to raise money for Rain, which is a very prestigious charity. Rain is the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network. You can find out more information at rain.org. But um, you know, this is this is all in fun. You know, we're all just enjoying ourselves. So um, you know, your donations will go towards various causes within the games we're playing. And again, it, at the end of the day, it all goes to a great cause. We're trying to raise uh, ten thousand dollars in total if we can, and we're uh, near thirty percent of that goal right now which is pretty good, but we do have a ways to go. Uh, am I going to do any more Let's Plays? Sure. I don't know what game I will do next yet, though it has not been decided. I was going to start on some soon, but this event really took up a lot of my, a lot of my time. Like Just the preparation for it. Oops. Let me just dropping stuff everywhere. You are in there right now yep, yep. with help. Ah, uh, this is one of the more annoying parts of the game. Trying to backtrack through sticks because it's all disoriented and enemy placement is a lot different. Focus. Yeah, what the hell? Let's do it.
Oh, Garo Mike donated. I know him. He always wears the Terry Bogart jacket. Oh, wow. Thank you very much, Garo Mike. Broken it up. It's much appreciated, man. Alright, so uh, there is a couple of questions for you in the street chat. I'll wait till after this, though. One question, or it's, it's two questions in one, essentially. The first is, what is your favorite Star Ocean game? Um, it's a, I guess it's a tie between two and three at this point. Um, probably two is slightly more. But yeah, three is a really good game as well. Uh, one was okay. It's a nice little game. Four is decent. I mean, <laughs> it's the worst of the Star Oceans, but it's still okay. Alright, so add, adding on to that question, the next question is, what is your favorite uh, JRPG in general? Someone said, I'd rather play Street Fighter Cross Tekken than uh, Star Ocean 4. Take that as you will. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think I can answer that one. Okay. I see there's a lot to choose from. Yes, there is. I know that last I checked. Uh, this hasn't updated on my end yet. Uh, I hate how it doesn't really update right. You have to kind of force refresh it to get it to show you everything Let's see if that works come on oh there you go so we've raised uh 29.30 in total so about a little bit under 30 percent of nice. the total goal Thank you to everyone that's contributed so far. A lot of you guys contributed during the mystery tournament, whether it was choosing for the various games or the the, the ending, where choosing the winner uh, and would enter. If you chose the winner correctly, you'd be entered into a raffle for a skill in your T-shirt. Very rare shirt. Uh, someone's requesting a copy paste of the list of runs you can find it on the Facebook page but I will copy and paste it for you again and for anyone else who might be looking for it so if you're looking to tune in for a particular game uh, there's the list in the chat right now so you can check it out you know what games are gonna be played around when um, we're trying to stick to the schedule as much as we can but this is a live event and you know there's a lot going on so Oh, Butters, you wound me. Come on, you're going to tell me Chrono Cross is... Or I'll, I'll tell you exactly what he said. Chrono Cross is a bad sequel and a bad game. Ooh. That's pretty harsh, man. I think Chrono Cross is pretty cool. It is cool. It's certainly better than Trigger. Um, is someone else you're supposed to talk to? Oh, now, now, children, Chrono Cross has a great story, what? especially when you consider the tie ins to Chrono Trigger. What did I forget?
killed someone, but I don't know who. Shout outs to getting stuck. Uh Oh yeah, you kind of don't really get to see that part of the storyline before. Pizza is supposed to be like a circus performer or something, isn't she? Yes. That all got skipped in that first seven minutes where essentially you skipped the entire intro and then some. Yes, yes. <laughs> Basically skipped the first two hours of the game. What the hell? Uh, what am I forgetting? Yeah, that's a good point. Pepita basically did nothing in this run. But that's okay. Yeah, she's a useful character. She makes up for the non speed run runs. Um. Uh, yes, Pathios, we are on disc 2. The first disc was completely flown through. I think it was like the 3 hour mark when you got to the end of uh, this one. A little less than 3 hours. Like 